expressing decimal to fraction form. So we are to change from decimal to fraction form. In order to change it, a decimal is changed into a fraction by using its digits without the decimal point. Um, as the numerator, in selecting an appropriate power of n as the denominator. So, and also the fraction can be changed into its lowest terms when possible. So, later, um, it will be illustrate how this definition or process to be uh, made in the example. So, there are two kinds of decimal. Terminating decimal and non-terminating decimal. If it is a terminating decimal, a decimal number that has height in it or has its limit, has limit, number of digits. A decimal that ends up with a remainder of zero. So, it has a fix. It is not, um, it is the opposite of non-terminating decimal. In, in a non-terminating decimal, a decimal number that has no end. A terminating decimal has limit. In non-terminating decimal, has no end. It has no limit. Which can be repeating. So, repeating or non-repeating. So, repeating decimal is a non-terminating decimal with repeating pattern. Example, 0.3 bar. So, it means to say it is a continuous of 3. While 0 0.53, uh, 352, um, it is a repeating of 352. Here, 0 0.75 repeating in which bar is being placed on top of 5, it means to say it is a continuous um, of number of 5. 0 0.2394 bar with 9 and 4 because it is a continuous of 9 and 4, 9 and 4. The same also with 2.3. While non-repeating decimal is a non-terminating decimal with no repeating pattern, but it is irrational. So, here, in repeating, Example here, it's 0 0.3. 0 0.3, it's um, repeating of 3333, so on and so forth. While in non-repeating, it's a non-terminating decimal with no repeating pattern. So, example, the 5 value is 3.14, 15, 92, 65, 3, 9, 3, 5, 9, um, so on and so forth. These numbers are not the same. It's not, uh, it is not the same, but it has a continuous values continuous um, different numbers not not same number but different numbers in repeating decimal it is a continuous of 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 here 3 5 2 3 5 2 3 5 2 3 5 2 here 5 5 5 5 but here it's a continuous of different numbers that's the difference between repeating decimal and non-repeating in decimal before we change decimal into fraction, we need to review first the decimal places of a decimal number. So, if you have 0 0.12345, the decimal places um, are the following. The decimal place of 1 is tenths. The decimal place number of 2 is hundreds. While the decimal place of 3 is thousands. And the decimal place of 4 is 10,000 and the decimal place of 5 is 100,000. Because we will be using these decimal places for our um, process in changing decimal into fraction. Let us change this decimal, decimal number into fraction 0 0.25. So, as you can observe, um, the last number is 5 and its decimal place is hundreds so therefore let us do the first example first change the decimal into fraction by using the decimal number as the numerator and put one as the denominator so 0 0.25 over put one as denominator next Move the decimal point of the numerator to the right. So, since your denominator here is here, so move the decimal point of the numerator to the right until it becomes a whole number. So, 
let us move this to become a whole number. 1, 2. So therefore, your 25, your 0 0.25 is already a whole number. 25. Over. Move also the decimal point of the denominator to the right by the same number of places that the decimal point of the numerator move. And place a 0 if the decimal point have moved to a decimal place without digit. How is that? So your whole number 1, it has a decimal point here. It's a whole number. Then place it 0 because uh, it is it signifies that it is a whole number. So since we move two places for the 0 0.25 to become a whole number, we will also move two places. The same as the movement here with the numerator. So it will become 100 because move 1, 2, place also another 0. So it becomes 100. Now, reduce the fraction into lowest terms. How is that? Since 25 and 100 has a greatest common factor, which is 25, so divide the numerator and the denominator with 25. 25 divided by 25, and 100 divided by 100, divide it by 25. And reduce. 25 divided by 25 will give you 1, and 100 divided by 25 will give you 4. So the answer is 1 fourth. Number 2 example, 1.375. So in this example, you have a whole number 1. So just simply separate your whole number from the decimal numbers. So 1, separate it with a plus sign. Then your decimal number will be your numerator plus 3.75 over 1. As a rule, your decimal number will be a numerator and the denominator will be put with 1. Next, move the decimal point in order to make this decimal into whole number. Again, move the decimal point until it uh, move the decimal point to the right until it becomes a whole number. So, move it 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, it becomes is the 1 plus 375, 375 over. It is already a whole number. Since we move three decimal places to make our decimal point into a whole number or to make our decimal number into a whole number, so we will also be moving the decimal point of 1 three places. 1, 2, 3. Then add it with 0. 1, 2, 3. So therefore, it is 1,000. Let us now reduce this 375 and over 1,000 into its lowest form. The greatest common factor between 375 and 1,000 is 125. So divide it by 125, both the numerator and the denominator. So again, 1 plus 375 divided by 125 Using your previous lesson on division, the answer is 3 over 1,000 divided by 125 will give you 8. Then, the final answer will be, just combine the whole number and the fraction, it will become 1 over 1, 3 over 8. That's the answer.